Talo falava ma lole soifua maua ma le langi e mama. Nisa mbolevinaka ke munisaka na wekanda mai viti. Hello everyone and welcome to Talanoa Tupe. This is a show where we celebrate and highlight Pacifica success in all its many forms. Each week we sit down with a different Pacific thought leader to hear about their journey and learn from their experience. Today in the studio, I'm joined by New Zealand's first female vascular surgeon, the only Pacific Island female vascular surgeon in Australasia, and one of my closest friends, Dr. Lupe Taumoiteau. My Lord Ale, Lupe, thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me. It's, um, it really is a pleasure to be here. Oh, thank you. I know how busy you are, so um, it really means a lot that you've taken the time to do this. Um, you know, I myself have been inspired and challenged by you since the age of 10. And yeah, I'm just really happy that um, our viewers get to hear about your story. Thank you. And that just makes me incredibly proud to be um, your friend, actually, because I um, have also drawn lots of inspiration from you. So thanks for having me here. Your parents must be so incredibly proud because both you and your sister Nancy have achieved amazing things. So can you tell us a bit about what was it in your environment that encouraged um, this attitude towards success? There were lots of things that contributed to that. Uh, I think faith was a big one in my family. Um, you know, I think uh, when times are tough, um, I, uh, you know, I, I turned to um, the Lord to uh, to get to give me strength, and that's something that um, both my parents, especially my mum, instilled in my sister and I from a from a young age. Um, and I think the other thing is that um, when I was growing up, my parents were separated for a long time, and so my sister and I uh, were essentially brought up by my mum. Your your mum. I mean, your mum is an incredibly inspiring person. You know, I tell everybody that the first really strong sort of female role model I had was my mother. Mm. Um, and she uh, is someone who I consider to be extremely compassionate, um, fiercely independent, um, and I drew a lot of strength from her. So uh, she sacrificed a lot to give my sister and I the best possible opportunities. Um, and I think I, you know, I saw her hard work, the fact that she worked multiple jobs, um, you know, declined offers of help from family overseas in terms of, you know, she could have taken us and, and moved away to um, be closer to her siblings and to her mother in Australia. But, you know, she chose to kind of stick it out and, and really um, and uh, try and give us the best possible life in New Zealand. Um, and so uh, I think those were the, probably the main factors um, and you know, she uh, instilled in us a, a real appreciation for the value of education. So that was um, something else. If you ask my mum what the secret was, she'd say prayer and the fact that she didn't let us watch TV during the week. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was a, a combination of things that really helped us along the way. There's something that my kids have heard so many times. <laughs> it's about Auntie Lupa who never watched TV growing up and you had violin and piano and um, a whole lot of other lessons that you were doing to keep you busy instead of watching TV. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, it's a bit hard these days because, you know, devices are everywhere and, and uh, knowledge is something that, um, you know, we want instantly. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, a balance in my household with my son mm. um, and devices, but yeah, certainly uh, I think having time to, you know, grow our interests in other areas has, has really helped kind of, um, yeah, shape where my sister and I are today. Mm. Yeah. 